What are the consequences of a finite speed of light? Is the idea that what appears to be simultaneous in one frame of reference may not be simultaneous in another frame of reference. Did you ever tell your friend, did you see that when something exciting happens? Well, looking from one frame compared to another frame, two events that appear to happen at the same time may actually not happen in that time in a, an alternate uh, frame of reference. Okay, so basically we left last time where we talked about the speed of light being the same in all frames of reference. With this happening, this makes both position and time relative to the observer. In special relativity, Einstein, of course, abandoned the assumption of simultaneity because that really re requires us to have that universal clock, that clock which is always ticking and by which the entire universe runs. Now, the way that he did his thought experiment to demonstrate how simultaneity is not the same, that sounds redundant, in uh, two frames of reference, he imagined a boxcar or a train moving at a very high rate of speed near the speed of light. Now, in this case, lightning strikes the front and the back of the boxcar. Well, at least according to one observer. Observer O is midway between the two points when the lightning strikes. She watches the lightning strike and basically observes in her frame of reference that in fact, they both hit the front and back at the same time. Observer O prime, however, he's inside the train. So he's moving at some velocity V with respect to O's observation. Essentially, the two frames of reference are inertial. However, they're not equivalent because O prime is moving at a rate of V compared to O. Now, what does O prime see when this event takes place or these two events take place? O saw them to be simultaneous. O prime, however, has already passed the position of O when the two bolts hit the front and back car. So the light traveling from the front of the car had a shorter distance to reach O prime, and therefore O prime sees the bolt of lightning strike the front of the car first and the back of the car afterward. Now again, the speed of light has to be the same in both frames of reference. And that means that it's gonna take more time from back than it is for the front for observer O prime. Now, this shows us that what may appear to be a simultaneous event in, in one frame isn't necessarily the same in another frame. When we start taking a look at uh, light cones and we look at space-time diagrams, we will see that um, basically when we're looking at uh, simultaneous, we're looking at the vertical axis. And when we go through a transformation, we transform from one frame of reference to another, that actually changes the position of different events in time and space. So again, O sees the two events happen at the same time, O prime sees them happening at different times, and both are correct for their frame of reference. Let's sort of reverse this train experiment and do uh, an experiment where we have a light that flashes, produces light waves that travel to the front and the back of a spacecraft. Now, again, this spacecraft is moving very close to the speed of light. So uh, the velocity V will be comparable to C. Now the wave fronts propagate evenly in all directions. There's spherical wave fronts that travel to the front and to the back. In the spacecraft's frame of reference, in terms of a person sitting in the spacecraft, they will see the light hit the front and the back of the spacecraft simultaneously. So for this event, the moving frame of reference is actually going to say, well, the two events are simultaneous. However, for a person sitting on the ground, when the lightning flashed, it was at this position, okay? As the rocket ship goes by, the light is now at this position. Now, 
take a look and see what happens here. The back of the spaceship is moving in the positive x direction, whereas the light waves are moving in the negative x direction. Light can't propagate faster than C in either frame of reference. Even though the person on the spaceship saw both wave fronts hit front and back at the same time, the person on the ground sees the light waves hit the back of the spacecraft first because the other light waves still have a longer distance to propagate. The time difference is really due to the difference in the frame of reference from the person standing on the ground compared to the person sitting in the rocket. So again, two events that are simultaneous in one inertial uh, frame of reference are not generally simultaneous in a second frame of reference if it's moving relative to the first. Basically, again, we don't have that universal clock that's running. The clock that runs in one uh, reference frame is not the same as the clock running in another reference frame. So simultaneity is not an absolute con concept, meaning that events don't necessarily take place simultaneous in one frame and in the second frame. It rather depends on the motion of the observer.